this impacts you. It impacts the people around you. You may be oblivious to it, but it's true. We have a porn problem. I'm convinced that the silent killer of this generation is pornography. But you say, Isaac, it doesn't kill, it's harmless. No, my friend, it is a spiritual, emotional, and relational killer. A spiritual killer because porn is a distortion of God's design of sex and intimacy. Porn is sin, and it separates us from God. An emotional killer because it damages and destroys the chemistry in our brain and how we were designed to enjoy sex. A relational killer because porn is a mistress, a secret lover who pulls us away from all the relationships in our lives. It is mental adultery. Many people will suggest programs on your computer, accountability groups, and retreats, which are all good, but I want to start at the heart. What are you after? love, connection, acceptance, pleasure, escape. Porn is a cheap substitute for God's design of how we get those needs met. Porn lies and delivers nothing of what we truly wanted. Pleasure is momentary, connection is fake, intimacy is perverted, escape is only temporary. Sinful living will never deliver the benefits that we hope for. You see, I believe God is at the heart of true change. Only through God's power and presence in your life can you break free from sin. So how's your relationship with God? Has it been feeling dry and distant? I know what you're going through, but continuing to avoid God out of guilt and shame will do no good for you. Today, go to Him in repentance and a renewed faith and faith in the fact that He can free you from the bondage of sin. And if you don't believe that yet, ask God for the faith. That's where we begin. Come out of the darkness, friend, into the light. Out of distress, I called on the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free.